Look at all those Rivians. And then check this one out. This one right here is an SUV. Oh, and there comes ours. That's mine. It's coming. Okay, let's do an update. Let's do an update. Let's see, is it open? Ah, oh, there we go. See, it opened up. Close it. Nice, it works. <laughs> All right, so in case you didn't know, my key fob it never worked on my Rivian, right? It's been months and months and months. I think, I don't know, we're gonna get that like four months ago, five months ago, something like that. So I put a video putting, uh, showing that, you know, the little problems and that I was gonna send it for service and all this stuff. And then just, just to document our experience with service with Rivian, right? Well, I never made an update because this never got fixed. So here's what happened. It turns out the problem was not simple and they went back and forth and they got an engineering team and this thing and I had to call the other guy and they were gonna call me back and they try to fix it over the air. And I, you know, I sat and I documented this. This is on the other video, right? But eventually I was able to talk to an engineer and the engineer guy was supposed to know and and help me figure this out but when i finally talked to him he didn't seem to know what was going on i had to explain the whole history of what was happening and then he was like no it doesn't no this seems like it's more serious so we're not going to be able he was the guy that's supposed to know how to go in there and look at the coding and because they it wasn't simple it was a, a problem that was unique and it, it wasn't easily fixable so he was like, okay, so now we're just gonna have to, he told me, okay, just hang out. We're gonna, someone at Rivian is gonna reach out to you because I guess we have to do more in the background. So we'll reach out to you, we'll get it fixed. We'll get it taken care of, right? And so then that's it, I hung up. So then I was like, okay, they're gonna take care of it. They're, they'll reach out to me or whatever. Now months went by and I completely forgot about it, but then, for some reason I needed the key fob again. And I was like, wait a minute, the people never fix this and they never call me. So I finally called them and I said, hey, uh, I'm waiting on you. You guys said that, uh, you know, that, that, that you guys are gonna reach out to me and you're gonna fix it. You're gonna work in the background, behind the scenes, that's what he said, right? And, and I go like, there's like six, seven tickets open for this thing. So that it needs to, they need to be fixed. There's several things, right? including the key fobs, those are big ones, and the key cards. So then the guy at Rivian said, well, I don't know, we're waiting on you to bring the car in for service so that we can take care of all these things, you know? So I'm like, well, that's not what you guys told me last time. You know, I'm like, okay. So finally we scheduled a thing to go in and we dropped it off more than a week ago and then yesterday they called us and they said, okay, it's here. Now, the big thing for me was the key fob and the key cards. Now, Crystal had a bunch of other little things. I think they got taken, I don't know if they got taken care. I haven't looked at it, but here's a crazy thing that they did. It took, took them over a week and they had to like, to fix it. Obviously the, the problem that the key fob had was more serious than just, you know, changing the, the battery or whatever. it was something to do with our accounts because they undid our accounts and i still don't know now our credentials don't work so mine uh and my wife's uh credentials don't work like we can't log into our app so now if i want to drive this thing i have to use the key fob or a key card because my phone doesn't work and i don't know if it's as simple as changing the password but maybe not maybe they changed the Maybe they just undid their account. Now we have to make new accounts. I don't know. They didn't tell us. That's the problem. And when I picked it up yesterday, I was like, hey, so our, our, our credentials don't work anymore, you know? And they're like, oh, well, the guy that was delivering it to me that it was after hours or whatever, he didn't know. He was like, okay, well, we'll let Mo, you know, reach out to you. Now, again, I'm waiting on them to reach out to me to see how we're going to do the thing. Maybe I just go ahead and try to change the password, do, make another login, whatever. But because if I don't, I think they're, they're never going to call me. I think that's what they like to say. Okay, we'll, we'll call you, you know, and then we'll figure this out. But I think if you don't bug them, it's up to you, I think. And so that is the experience. It's been a couple months, more than a couple months, I think, that this thing didn't have keys. 
uh, well, I mean, it's it's been since we got it, but that we they were trying to fix it or whatever. So I don't know that that's representative of every uh, service center uh, repair work that is going to be done at Rivian. But just keep in mind if you're stuck like that for an issue for Rivian, you have to bug them. It's going to be up to you to bug them. And if you don't, months will go by and they're just like, you know, they're busy doing other cars. There's a whole center. I finally went inside the center and there's I don't know, 50 cars there, right? They're working on it and stuff. So there we go. Just a quick little update on the Rivian uh, service woes that go here. As of right now, I think everything's good. I don't know. I guess I'll report back if there's any other issues. Bye.